Hello everyone, welcome back to Fair Reactions TV 2.0. My name is Stady. Today I'm going to do American Horror Story Season 9, Episode 1. I'm really excited for this season. They love to throw us off. They put out all of these trailers to confuse us, I feel like. So I, I just watched one and it was a pretty long one. You know the one where they are in a cabin and they are dancing to this 80s music. And it just gave me that... You know, Friday the 13th, Phil, Jason, Camp Crystal Lake. If it feels good, go with it. Am I going to jump? I'm pretty sure I am. What was that? Okay, so he's lucky. It's 1970. The show is set. 1984. Oh! Oh! Uh oh, this is some Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leather Face. Okay, why are you walking like this? What happened? Why are they responsible? I like the intro. I notice you ogling my buddy Chet's mound. You want me to introduce you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's nothing to be ashamed of. The whole reason most people come to summer size class is to hook up. Not for me. The last American virgin. Oh, is she the good girl? Everyone so that means she won't die this season, hopefully. There was a murder a couple of days ago in Glassell Park. Cops are calling him the Night Stalker. I heard serial killers become more active in the summer months when it's hot. This is Brooke. She's new in town. Mm. Brooke, this is Xavier, Ray, Chet. <laughs> My cousin was saying that they think that this guy's gonna go on a rampage like Son of Sam did in the summer of 78. Which is why I'm getting out of town for the next couple of months. I got a gig as a counselor at a summer camp. They're opening up a couple of hours from here. You guys should all come. Don't go, don't go. But if you don't go, then we won't have a show. <laughs> so, <laughs> please go. Girl, close your windows. <gasps> Where's the jewelry? Is that it? All of it? Swear on Satan. I swear for God. You're gonna be famous. You're gonna die by the hand of the Night Stalker. Oh no! Mm -mm. That was a setup. Someone in that group sent him there to me. I still don't really know what happened. Mm -hmm. I know what's going on. He peed a pharmacy, so they kicked him out of the Olympics. Come on, you can be honest with us. We're friends. Yeah. But I didn't do anything. I worked my ass off for that spot. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I know exactly where you're going. Xavier, let's go. We gotta get moving if we're gonna make it to Redwood before dark. You say Redwood? Yeah, Camp Redwood. We're all counselors there for the summer. Turn around. Go back to the city. What was this, that crazy Ralph or something like that? Good to camp blood, ain't ya? God damn it, Ralph, get out of here. Go on, get. Leave people alone. Never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. You're all gonna die. Why was that guy saying all of that creepy stuff? Look out! Okay. I know what you did last summer. Did we hit him? Yes, you did. Hey. Throw him in the water. Welcome to Camp Redwood. I'm Margaret Booth. I'm the owner. Boss lady chopping your own wood. Choice. Well, we'll all have to wear multiple hats. You say you found him in the middle of the road? He was by the side of the road. He's been pretty out of it. Same weird things. Not making much sense. He's severely dehydrated. Okay, they didn't leave him. They didn't throw him in the water. Is he gonna die? Not on my watch. 
Don't worry. I work in the ER at Hawthorne Hospital the rest of the year. Why don't we give our nurse a little space? Come on, I can show you all a tour of the camp. She's the killer. And, and this the guy is Chef Birdie, a camp I don't redwood his veteran. Name. Dibs. They are him. They are related. You would know what to do with it if you got it, handsome. <laughs> Do you expect us to be celibate all summer? Well, I'm not banning self-abuse, although every stroke soils your soul, but how could I ever enforce it? It's 1984, Margaret. I am aware of the decadence of our era, and that is why, while still grieving my sweet husband Walter's untimely death, I took a small portion of the large fortune he left to me to buy this camp and create a safe, pure, godly and decent place for the children of this country to escape for the summer. It is a dream come true. She's on my list. I love her though, the past two seasons. I was attacked in my apartment by the Night Stalker. He said he'd come after me. Brooke, take a chill pill. Nothing bad is gonna happen here. Hmm. Maybe not, but something did 14 years ago. Yes, tell us. This is the site of the worst summer camp massacre of all well, time. Why are you there? Come on, Rita. His name was Benjamin Richter, but everybody called him Mr. Jingles. Richter was drafted into the Vietnam War. He had a nasty okay, habit of so. collecting trophies from his enemies, cut off their ears, and strung them into a necklace. Jesus. But one random night, Mr. Jingles grabs a knife and slaughters an entire cabin. Oh, okay, that's what we saw. Ten victims in all. You're wrong. If you're gonna tell a story, tell it right. Okay, because he's your father. Only nine died, not ten. So Mr. Jingles is real? Oh. When no, I heard it. Yes, no. What happened was to you? The sound of his keys jingling. I opened my eyes a split second before I felt the blade. But I knew I was going to die. I floated out of my body, held aloft by the wings of an angel. From above, I saw him cut off my ear, but I gave him nothing. Not a twitch or a sound. And that's how I managed to survive, through the grace of God and his mercy. And that's why I bought this camp, to reopen it and to take all of my darkest memories and turn them into something bright and happy. <sighs> Who's dying today? Where are we? It's a summer camp. Camp Redwood. No, 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 you have to leave. Something terrible is gonna happen. I don't understand what- Get out, go now! You go too. I think there's something wrong with the hiker. He kept saying something bad is gonna happen. with you. Ah, oh, I'm Trevor, activities director. So technically I'm your boss, but don't worry, I'm not gonna be enforcing any of Margaret Booth's rules for godly living. Who's gonna be first to go? Really? He's gonna die first? I know he played in- It got hot in there. Glee. I needed to cool down. Feeling a little sticky myself. Okay, Halloween. I see what they are doing. All the classic 80 films. And some others. How did this happen? Three hours earlier. Okay, Michael Myers. OK, 
came, bro. You, you are dead. Oh, you Hello? Of course you are in the car. Hey, nobody's supposed to be in here. You want gas? Just I'll be crying. right out. Oh, my. Hey. He looks like the hook guy from. I know. I know yes. what you did last Are summer. I heard the male athletes outnumber the females five to one. That's some tough competition. What the fuck would you know about it? Whoa. Dude, shut up already. She was just trying to help. You're being a dick. Fuck you. That's okay. Oh, what's that? That? Oh, shit. What is shit. My bad. Them? I didn't mean to. Back off! Roy Rage. Oh, he's going to be the first victim. Okay. Does it hurt? Oh, sorry. It's still bleeding. I'm going to go look for some bandages and oh, some Lord. iodine. He's about to die. I don't mind. Are they going to kill her off first? Going to win. It's um, it's it's my fault. I we came to check on that guy they picked up on the road. How is he? I guess he was well enough to leave. Scream. What's your favorite scary movie, Brooke? You just were attacked and investigate. Answer the phone. Why don't you? He's only going to the You're going to die. Who is this? Same, Pretty sure the Night Stalker, or whoever that guy is, um, the Jingle guy, he's going to get rid of him. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't one of my favorite openers so far, but this is just the first episode. They are not going to throw everything at us at once. I don't know if it was just me, but I saw a lot of scary movies, you know, thrown into this premiere. I know what you did last summer when Julie and her friends hit the guy with the car on Friday the 13th, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, some parts. So I am a really big horror movie fan. It's my favorite genre. Let's hope this season, Emma Roberts, her character, she lasts and she makes it to the very end because we all know the history of Emma Roberts in American Horror Story. But I bet you she's going to wind up being a part of this somehow. The Jingles know someone, one of those counselors, he's related to one of those counselors. Y'all know how they love to trick us. Let me know your thoughts on this season premiere down below. If you like this reaction, please give me a huge thumbs up. If you like me, please subscribe to my channel. I will be back next week with episode two. Until next time, everyone, you have a great day. Bye.